In this video, we want to demonstrate how the FPI for C unit can be used as a data logger. In our example, we want to collect some data from a PLC from Panasonic, which is physically connected to the FPI for C unit by using the RS232 serial interface. First step to do is to make the wiring between the serial interface of the FPI for C and the FP0H PLC. On FPI4C side, we use the COM1 port. On FP0H side, we use the COM0 port. After that, we switch on the power for both units. Second step is to open our FPBIN Pro 7 programming software in order to set the configuration parameters for the COM0 port on PLC side. Be aware that these configuration settings for COM0 port must be equal to the settings in the FPI4C unit later on. We also create a sample program. This program generates some sample data which we want to lock by our FPI4C unit later on. After all the changes are done, we download our program into our PLC. For downloading I use a simple USB connection. Third step is to get connected to the FPI4C unit by using a standard web browser. If you are not familiar with getting connected to the FPI4C, just have a look at video 1 in this training course. Once we are connected, we can directly go to the COM interface page in the application settings area. We make sure that COM1 port of the FPI4C unit is enabled. We make also sure that the configuration settings for COM1 port are equal to the settings in the PLC for COM0 port. We select from the COM interface to control device drop-down menu RS232 and set the station number to 1. This station number must be equal to the station number which we set in the PLC before. We also need to define a port number in the port page. This is needed for forwarding the incoming data from the FPI4C Ethernet port to the FPI4C serial port. Let's save the configuration in order to activate the new settings. After that we make a check if we can reach the connected PLC by our FPI4C unit. To do so, we click on the Test RS232 button. We get a feedback as shown when the wiring and configuration settings are OK. Fourth step is to go to the data logger page to make the necessary configuration settings. In order to be able to lock the PLC data, we need to enable the data locker first under General Lock Settings. As data storage location, we use the internal memory of the FPI4C unit. All the PLC data will be stored in a CSV file. This CSV file can be downloaded later from the FPI4C unit to our laptop in order to open it via Notepad or Excel. Under Log File Settings, we generate a log file by clicking on Add New button. We enter a file name for this log file, for example Station 1. We set the values according to our needs. As COM interface, we select the physical interface of the FPI4C unit where we have connected our PLC to receive the log data. Station number for our RS232 connection is 1. We want to have a new value to be locked every 5 seconds, so we define a fixed cycle and set 5 seconds. After 10 values have been locked, they shall be written into the before mentioned lock file Station 1. Next step is to define the data points we want to lock in the log file. 
we click Add New, set data point name and unit. Also here, COM interface is again RS232 connection, station number is 1. After the configuration settings are done, we save it to activate the new settings. Starting from now, the FPI4C is now logging the PLC data. After having waited for about one minute, we can download the created log file. Let's open the CSV file via Excel or Notepad. And here we are, we can see here all the data with the according timestamp. That's all for this video. To find out more about the features of FPI4C, feel free to check out the other videos on our Panasonic Academy website. Panasonic Industry